Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You're moving on and somebody doesn't want to let you go, but yet at the same time, they don't want to approach you either because they're, they know they're going to have to defend themselves, all right? Um, yeah, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces energy here, but clearly you're moving forward. You've closed out a cycle here. You've passed your test. You've learned your lessons. You could be moving moving away or this could be also somebody who's like watching you on their cell phone i sometimes i see this card as like a cell phone and this is the cell phone screen okay but um this person yeah they're in a toxic situation they're feeling stuck this could be somebody who's already committed to someone else here okay in toxicity but they want a new beginning with you. They see you as, um, as this blessing. They want a new beginning with you. And you're out here um, attracting the attention of a lot of other people. Like, you are um, hearing you're gorgeous. That's what this person wants you to know. You're gorgeous. I, I'm kind of getting the sense that, yeah, if, if you start meeting new people... This, somebody's going to steal you away from them, okay? That's just the feeling that I'm getting. Somebody is going to come in and steal you away from them. And, uh, but here's the thing, they're already committed to somebody else. So, yeah, because you know what? All you need is that one pinnacle. The right offer from the right person at the right time in the right way, Okay. Um, and you're going to be in a commitment. This person knows that you're meeting new people here and you are gorgeous. They want you to know that. Um, you, this could be you putting yourself on like the dating scene, right? Um, this is in the public eye as well. You could be a star. You could have your own platform somewhere on the internet. That's maybe why they're watching you all the time on their cell phone. Okay. <laughs> I'm really picking up on that heavy um, they don't want to let you go. They don't want to confront. They want to try to hang on to this position for as long as they possibly can. Um, but here's the thing. They're realizing they don't have much time left. You literally are about to build something with somebody new. You're about to get an emperor. Oof. That puts them in their feels. Um, yeah, I feel like you're about to have this brand new beginning yeah, man. A passionate new beginning. You know, whoever they chose over you, too, could be cheating on this person. Just putting it out there. That's not for all of you, but you're about to get an emperor. Okay? You're about to meet somebody new, and this is going to be an emperor. This could even be somebody that you've known in the past. But, yeah, you're, look at you. You're about to start something new, and this person is kind of freaking out about it. That could be this toxic energy, too, this obsession. Um, being stuck in their head. But with the emperor in the mind, and, uh, sorry, why did I say emperor in the with because this kind of is the emperor like in 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 minor arcana okay in a way this is that last step before they become an emperor okay but yeah um this king of pentacles they're obsessing about you but i'm feeling like they've got somebody else on the side yeah look They've already got, they could even have somebody pregnant. I feel like they're blaming this other person that they're with, okay? I feel like they're blaming this other person um, for having them stuck because they really are missing out here. Um, yeah, look at this. Having nightmares at night and a lot of regret for turning their back on you. Because you're about to start something new with somebody here with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, and the Page of, of Pentacles here. Yeah. All right. What can you show me? You could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. 
I got stuff falling on the floor. This person's really upset. Like they, you have got this person rattled. Yeah, look, this is coming out in reverse. Yep, with I feel like they gave you an empty offer here. Knight of Pentacles in in reverse. This person never showed up. Gave to somebody else. They should have walked away and gave you um an offer in the upright here, but they didn't. They I feel like they weren't being real with you. When they came towards you, this person could have already known that they were going to come in with a fake offer and walk away from you, collective. Because they could have already been giving to somebody else. And they left you out in the cold. They knew this whole time. See, because they are moving way too slow here. They knew um, that this whole time you were waiting for some kind of information or closure or clarity. Yeah, look, you've got a new person coming into your life collective that's going to make you really happy here. You could be a Leo... Virgo, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Aquarius energy, Taurus, Aries. Yeah, or this new person could be a Leo. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I just feel like a heat off of this. This is going to be a hot, new, passionate connection, man. Look at the heat, you guys. And with the Ace of Wands underneath, oh, it's going to be hot and heavy, I'm telling you. And this person's going to want to work with you, build with you. This is, this is your new connection coming in. And they're going to just want you. They're not going to want to be with anybody else. You're coming in as being uh, very sexy, very driven, um, very cool. You've got this real cool disposition about you, okay? Like, very cool... I don't know. You're, look at this. This is going to lead to a marriage. This is going to lead to a marriage here. Oh, man. And your person is having this tower moment. I don't even know if this is your person. They are committed to somebody else. But I, here's the thing. I mean, this could it could be a twin flame, but I've got the twin flame in reverse here because they made the wrong decision when it came to love. But this could very well be a karmic masculine because I'm seeing your emperor, they're just coming into the picture now, okay? And this is your emperor, man. Yeah, this is giving this person a tower moment. They're finding out about this. This is like, it's going to hit them like a big kick in the gut, I'm telling you. Especially if you get married to somebody else, which I feel like it's going to happen. Yeah, see, maybe they know that you're trying to keep this hidden. Um, or it's hidden from both of you at this point, maybe. You may not have met this new person yet, but you're about to. Other people are noticing you here. They're seeing you stand out above everybody else. And um, you're about to meet the right one, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like this person who's been standing in between a decision to make for a very long time, they're about to come in and apologize because the last thing that they want is for you to get snatched up by somebody else, period. I mean, you're, they're not going to find another you. Um, and you're um, extremely successful, independent, happy on your own right now. Um, see, I'm seeing you single with an emperor approaching. And um, whatever, you could be a business boss, you could be working on a craft, whatever it is, it's, it's become a success. You're very abundant. You're making bank here. You're happy. You've got this cool energy, you know. People don't know whether to hug you or arm wrestle you, right? <laughs> you could be kind of a, like, I, we, out here in Wisconsin, we call, we call ourselves tomboys, all right? Um, so you could just, I don't know, I just feel this toughness about you, but yet you're sexy, <laughs> you know, um, driven, motivated, independent, strong, <laughs> abundant. You're the treasure. You're like every, you're every queen, I feel, Repta. I'm feeling um, Empress energy for you. Every queen rolled up in a pretty little package, you know. 
Um, and you're about to get taken, you know, snatched up by somebody new. This person knows they need to apologize. They may, if you, you could have possibly moved away, um, or you are in the process of it, maybe. A lot of forward movement here from you, I feel. Um, but yeah, they know they, they may even have to travel. This could be somebody who lives a distance from you. Man, yeah, I feel like they realize, they full on realize that um, you are their wish fulfillment. And I feel like this person very rudely cut you out. But here's the thing, they're coming back around. They know they need to communicate with you. They know they need to take some kind of action. This is somebody who's getting ready to apologize, travel towards you, whether it's whether it's across country, another um, continent, or, you know, a couple towns away. I don't know. I just feel like this forward movement here and a choice that they're making. They know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you were their destiny here. You were their wish. They could have a happy family with you. They could have emotional, um, emotional fulfillment with you and abundance. And this is like everything that you could possibly want in a life. You know, the Ten of Cups. And if they give you the right offer, they'll be able to build with you the Ten of Pentacles. But this person, you know what? They're, I feel like they're still with somebody. You know? They're still with somebody. Clarify this King of Swords. You could be dealing with a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah. They need to cut something out first before they come towards you. Also, I'm heavily sensing travel here. So this person may need to travel towards you. Um... They've kept their back turned on you and this, um, this connection for far too long. I feel like they've, had, uh, they've entertained other options. They could be in a toxic situation here. They definitely don't want to let you go. They watch you all the time. They're afraid to confront you. But they know they're going to have to because you, you're glowing. You're glowing too much for this person to keep contained. They can't, they, you know, you're freeing yourself from this connection and you're starting to live your life again for you. And you've got new love coming in and they know it. Even if you don't see it yet, okay, because here comes this emperor, right? You don't see that they're an emperor yet. You don't see it. You're look. you're focused on you. So I feel like when this new soulmate comes forward, man, that's that's it. Uh, you're such a treasure out here that anyone would be a dang fool not to want you. I'm not kidding. So, yeah, you are about to be loved the right way by somebody who's going to be at your side. The, an emperor, you know, once you meet this emperor, this person's going to have no chance. No chance. You can't compete with the emperor. Okay, and, and this emperor is not going to let somebody just step up towards you. Okay, so yeah, they're feeling, I, I, I'm getting the sense that they're feeling a bit rushed, even though um, this is just something that they, they haven't been wanting to do, is come forward, you know. They haven't been wanting to speak their truth, but... They're about to take action. They're going to drop these burdens. Yeah, if they don't, this is what they face. If they don't drop the burdens of this, they're going to be absolutely defeated and in pain. A painful ending. I feel like this person also, you know, I feel like they betrayed you to the point where they had you down. And then they ignored you. I mean, they did a lot. All of these wants, that's these wants that they haven't been wanting to face. If they don't face you after what they did to you collective, they're going to be having to live with this guilt for the rest of their life. While they watch you, because they're obsessively watching you, while they watch you move forward with an emperor and live the destiny that should have been theirs. 
I, I don't know. I maybe this was a karmic, but they could have they could have had everything. Like I kid you not, everything because you're about to have it all, and this person is missing out. Yeah, so they know that. They're going to drop these burdens, and I feel like they're going to communicate. They know if they don't, I don't know. If, if they don't, I'm not so sure they'll be able to, you know, really fully live with what they're letting go of here, you know? Yeah, because you're not going to speak to them. No, mm -mm. they're going to have to really fight for this. Because it's taken this person way too long to come forward, and they invested in all the wrong things. And when they cut you out, it was cold, harsh, and cruel. I feel like they know they have to communicate here. Because you're not speaking to them. You are not going to make the first move. If this person wronged you, they need to make it right. Period. End of story. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm seeing this person in king energy and everything. At least they have the clothing on. But you're really the only one out here who showed true, true strength in all of this. You put in the effort. Okay? You put in the effort. Yep. They just watched. Feeling like a fool. Yep. Wow. Yeah, they're going to have to fight for this. They're going to get competition here. Um, there may even be a fight. Like, uh, this person could even be deciding that they want you, wanting to come towards you, wanting to take action. They may have to fight to get released from the devil here if they're in another toxic situation and committed. It's going to be a battle for this person. And, and if they're with somebody else, whoever that person is, is watching them very closely. They know they're getting ready to leave a situation here. This is also travel. So this person may need to travel towards you. Yeah, I, I you know, yeah, they, if they don't make it right, they're going to lose you forever. And that's all there is to it. You're not going to be speaking to them. They need to make it right with you. I'm broken inside. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. It took me a long time to realize that I do love you. Yeah, I, I feel like they, they do love you, but it's, it's, it's turned into an obsession here at this point. Um, I feel like it's the obsession really in part is because of their conscience, though. Their conscience won't leave them alone. I mean, they're having nightmares over this, okay? They're losing sleep over it. They're broken inside. They're broken inside. And they're going to continue to feel that um, if they lose you and not do anything about what, you know, they have to make right what they did to you. I'm just trying to make it through the day. Yep, we got that in the last reading as well. Yeah, this person is, they're, they're kind of a mess here. Time has brought me clarity. There's that clarity, right? Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. I left before you could leave me. I feel like this person was just in and out energy with you. Okay, in and out. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. People around me keep talking about you. I'm haunted by us. What did I say? They are. I, I didn't follow my heart, and now I don't know how to let you go. I'm feeling lost, and I don't know what to do about it. Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? Yeah. This person is about to talk to you, okay? They know they need to take fast action. Um, because you really are about to get an emperor. And you know what? I feel like your next love is going to be the long-lasting committed love. So this person knows. Um, anyway, get ready for that communication because they are coming back around. 
they it's almost like they're just they don't have a choice it's either talk to you and try to make it right or suffer with this forever okay okay